Welcome to a Bonzolium video. I've had people ask a few times about polyrhythms. Now I know you're probably like, ha ha, you know, this joker on YouTube, you know, he's, he's not a Mike Mandigini or whoever. But I do know this. I might not be able to play five over 29, but here's the deal. The most important thing to garner from polyrhythms goes back to the whole basis of drumming as you learn your rudiments, okay? Now, of course, bear with me on my rudiments whenever I play something that requires any skill. My left hand is funky. I have heard that if I do take beta blockers, <laughs> this might be like a statue and suddenly I might, I might be a lot better in my technique. But the problem is this. Even with all the sh crap I eat, my standing blood pressure is like 106 over like 50, like all the time which is generally good, but if I take beta blockers, it might go down to like 70 over 15, you know what I mean, which would be bad for me. So that's the trade-off. Anyway, so in Rudimentberg, do you know when we do stuff, what happens is, is we will cross two, it, 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 essentially going between a, a regular one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and then a triplet. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three or one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, or one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, however you verbally want to call it, okay? But what happens is, you remember when we do stuff like one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and... We go into triplets, okay? What happens is, at, at, a, at an earlier state, well, in development of rudimentum, we go back and forth between even and odd, okay? So forget about five and seven for now, okay? I'm just saying the, saying the flat out three, the first most common odd, okay? Like I know in Greece and stuff and in Genesis and some other progressive rock places, there are fives and sevens and nines and thirteens and 139s, that type of thing, right? But the most important thing really to get a grasp on is really between the, excuse me, twos, threes, and fours, okay? Meaning grasping from one and two and three and four and, and one e and two e and three e and four e and a, with a one and a two and a three and a four and a, in the middle, okay? So one and two, uh, let me slow it down. One and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one e and a two e. That, okay? So what happens there, I made a video before, and a lot of people have, called a herta or a herta. It's essentially like a two over three, meaning that you have one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'll slow it down. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. While going at the same time in syncopation with the triplet. Okay, so that's what I'll do here is instead of one, two, one, two, I'm just going to go one and two and three and four and if I play, actually let me, let me, let me cut right to something that's easier first to think about instead of thinking about it like this because this gets sort of really almost like classroomy, like okay here we're going to, is this, okay, you know the Christmas song? That, okay, but really, just think of that basic thing you've heard a hundred thousand times. That is the best paradigm to simply think of a two over three or a three over two or a herta. All these, it, it, don't worry about the terminology, but my point is this. Watch this. Da, 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 okay? My right hand is just going one and two and three and, okay? While my left hand is going one and a uh, two and a uh, or one triplet, two triplet. Meaning I'm playing a triplet with one limb and straight with my right. That is a basic polyrhythm. 
And it's really good to get your hands on this one anyway. You won't necessarily, well, maybe you'll play ba, 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 ba. But what happens there is it really smooths out even your transitions. It gives you a much better, well-greased amygdala or whatever the hell it is in your brain that governs these things. It smooths it out so you'll find these one and two and three and four and one and the two and the three and the four. It really helps even all that out, okay? It just subconsciously. Remember, whenever you learn something, you do it so much that eventually it oozes in to that subconscious part of your brain. When you first learn something, you have to actually think about it all the time. Like now, when you go to the bathroom, right? Well, let's not use that example. But let's say like you're driving the car. Most people, when you get in the car now and you first learn to drive, you're like, oh my God, am I in the lanes? Oh my God, now I have to brake. Oh my God, who's behind me? Now you're just kind of driving with one finger. It's all parasympathetic. What is the term? Like subconscious. Okay, so it's the same thing here. Back to the da, 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 da. What happens is, so I'm going to flam it. Well, not flam it. I'm, well, I might flam it a little. But my point is, is I'm going to hit the one with both hands. But again, my right hand here is going to be playing the one and two. And my left hand's going to be going one and a uh, two and okay, ready? I almost did the four over three. Hang on. See this? One and two and three and four and and on my. My left. One and a uh, two and three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a. Uh. That's what's happening there. For, you know, forgive me. It's a, another good thing to do. I guess you could count out loud because then you really get it through your brain. I'm not used to counting out loud and doing it because I don't have an audience down here. But you see how that goes, okay? So people, if you're not really thinking of the ba 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 in Christmasburg. By the way, one of the best segments in the world I love in Jesus Christ Superstar where they do the Garden of Gethsemane scene in the film. And then they show those pictures of Christ dying on the cross as he's being, as he feels betrayed. Well, anyway. It's a little bit of a different planet, kind of cool. Check that out on YouTube. Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus Christ Superstar, 1973. Very cool scene. Anyway, so here we go. Same to right. Uh, see, so what? I, this is the pattern. Okay. When I'm doing that, this is da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Okay, the note that's the same. Ba, 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 ba. Da, ah. Uh, that's your frickin' eighth note here. That's the two. Da, 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 da. Okay? That means that the left hand is going. Da, 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 da. Okay? So, Ba, ba, not the next one. Da, but the next. That's your triplet. Da, 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 da. So watch this. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's slowing it down, taking some liberties with the meter. Da. Left, right, left. Okay. Same left, right, left. 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 Da, 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 da. Okay, that's it's a great way to really burn this into your subconscious instead of trying to think about it from a different angle. Like, okay, threes over twos, threes over twos, okay? <laughs> I find that to be the most effective way to learn that.
Okay, so real fast, I'm going to go into, if we double up the 1 and 2 and 2, 1 E and uh, 2, so we're doubling up the amount of notes with the right hand then, okay? So we're doing 16s. 1 E and uh, 2 E and, uh, well, I'm still maintaining a 1 and uh, 2 and uh, with my left hand, okay? Now this one isn't necessarily a song, but it's a cool little syncopated, I have to get the blower checked out in that, baby. Let me check the time here. How much time do I got left? Well, time travels fast when you're going on and on about something. Uh, all right. Okay. I have seven more. I can do this in seven more minutes. Who can't? All right. So, Schnikes. All right. So, here we are back to. Ooh, I just passed gas. Did that show up? Oh, yeah. All right. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. All right. So, here's the deal. So, instead of da 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 you're gonna get a da 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 It's like. that pattern okay da 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 ba 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 because in there is ba 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 we're just adding two more notes to make it for the e and the uh in 16th note berg in this case play with my right hand so I'm doing there is I'm still maintaining with my left hand the one and the one and uh, two and uh, where my right hand is instead of just going it's adding in the E and the uh so one E and uh two okay so that is four over three or three over four three under four or four under three however you want to do it so those two basic ones which I feel are the most important now the jump to five actually is very important, but it's, I can do it, I don't use it a lot, and I don't really find it very musical unless I'm thinking in very much a Genesis-y kind of way. Like older British bands really had a way of making odd meters sound really natural, where I think about them as a, a melody as opposed to like a mathematical thing. Like I love Rush to Death, but when I listen to Rush, sometimes those odd meters are like dun 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 Whereas like with Genesis, it's like da 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 ba 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 da ba 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 jug 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 like it's melodical. I don't I don't have to think about it when I'm playing it. So what we're gonna do now is just for the basis of this anyway. I'll get to fives later. So we're gonna stick with twos and threes and four and threes, okay? Because they're the most common and the most useful, even back as they relate to rudiments, okay? Again, so what I did here. You can really hear me playing threes here and fours here. But now if I switch that to the same surface, instead of I'm gonna put it here on the snare, watch. So that's a good melodical way to remember it. Ba ba da 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 ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da. Okay, so that's it. Remember those two. It's very important. It's very simple and basic. We as humans learn it better if it's a melodic thing, not necessarily if you're thinking about it like it's how far you can carry pie out. Okay, more videos on the way. Remember, I'm gonna be selling some stuff on eBay. Seller named Kingish, K-I-N-G-I-S-H. And that's the same seller, which is me, that sells these. This is my CD. One of my songs was on the radio. Number three, buy, if you buy my disc, buy it from seller Kingish, K-I-N-G-I-S-H. 
Also, too, on my fr front page, I finally, they let me put a donate button on there. So you can contribute to me, my channel. I can feed my kids. Kid. But here's the deal. I am selling a lot of this stuff. I'm not hurting for dough. I just need the space and some dough would be nice. Anyway, but if, you know, I, sometimes I think like there's a wealthy bond trader in New York like, yeah, this guy is funny. I just made 87 grand today. Dude, here's 50 large. I'm like, thanks. So I have a donate button right on my front page. If you want to donate, you can use a credit card. I'm just thinking if there is some insane bond trader out there who has a bunch of cash or a tr Warren Buffett really loves my videos, maybe he'll slip me a billion. Anyway, more videos on the way. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. This video brought to you by Terry Keating Greatest Hits. Look for it on eBay.